the other nice thing now for my customers is that you know I can show a perspective, a scaled perspective view of the piece. Now I could do that by hand. I had a special drawing board that had three vanishing points, and the rulers slid in the arc. There was an arc, you know, a, a section of a circle that for each vanishing point. So I could draw a scale perspective piece of furniture. But God, if they wanted to change something, you know, or can I see that from the side? <laughs> no, I'll talk to you in three hours. I'll have another drawing. I can get it to you from the side. So with Xenon, I can rotate this thing. I can flip it upside down. I can do anything I want with it. And the changes, although changes are always costly, uh, the changes come much easier because I can save versions. So I can go back. It's a whole lot easier than using an eraser. So I save my versions, and, and if they want to change something fairly dramatically, I'll just back up until I find a good place to start. Or I can just delete stuff, or I can go into the edit box and if I haven't messed things up too badly, I'll just change dimensions. And then for the renderings, you know, some customers don't have a... When they look at lines, it just doesn't seem to mean much to them. It's hard for them to relate to them. They just don't have a 3D mind. And so I always like to do, and because I enjoy it, I like to do a rendering generally. Not always, but I often like to do a rendering and so I can rotate this thing. They Customers think it's cool. Mm. And then if I'm really into it and have the material at hand, I'll go out and take a photograph of the actual wood I'm going to use and then, you know, project that onto the piece. So the customer can see pretty much exactly what they're going to get with the exact piece of wood I'm going to use. 